Much of the modern software development world runs on the ideas of class-based, object-oriented development paradigms. Languages like C++, C Sharp, and Java want us to create class definitions, or blueprints that are used to create object instances. These types of languages are sometimes called classical or classy because they use a class-based inheritance system to define objects. JavaScript, like these other languages, is object-oriented. Nearly everything in JavaScript is an object, actually, and there are only a few primitive types, such as strings, numbers, and booleans, that aren't objects. At the beginning of the episode, I mentioned that there are a few primitive types in JavaScript, types that are not objects, but are values. Did you notice that I left functions out of that list? This is because in JavaScript, functions are objects. You can have a key value pair associated with a function the same way that you can an object literal. And there's nothing special that you need to do to make this work either. Once you have a function reference, whether it's a named function or a function assigned to a variable, you can tack any arbitrary key and value on that you want, including other functions. Calling a function with the new keyword in front of it tells the JavaScript runtime to construct a new object instance that inherits from the prototype of the function we executed. It then passes that object instance through the function's code as the function's this parameter and returns the object instance to us when it's done. The function being used to construct a new object instance is called a constructor function, and due to the changes in how the function is executed, it's a good idea to distinguish between a normal function, one that is called without the new keyword, and a constructor function. Generally speaking, the accepted practice is that we name a constructor function with the first letter of every word capitalized. Standard functions are named with the first letter of the first word in lowercase, but the first letter of additional words capitalized. We can even use the constructor function for an object to do this for us. And we saw this previously, but I also mentioned that there's a danger in doing this. When we create a constructor function that assigns methods and attributes to this within the function, we are creating a new copy of every one of those methods and attributes for every object instance that we create. In some cases, this is a good thing. If we have a person object with a name attribute, we don't want all of our person objects to share the same name. We want each person to have their own name, and assigning a name in the constructor function is a great way to achieve this. With that in place, we have the core of a full-on classy framework for JavaScript. Granted, this isn't a perfect implementation of a classy framework, there are still some bugs and some limitations that can be solved. If we had a 3D prototype hierarchy, for example, calling this.super all the way up the chain would fail for various reasons. More than just the remaining bugs, though, whether or not a classy framework is a good idea to begin with is a subject of intense debate. A classy framework like this can be powerful indeed, and there are times when it can come in handy. 